All right, guys, I'm so excited to make this video because so much has happened recently that I am bursting to tell you and to update you. Quick disclaimer, before we get into this video, I got lip surgery to fix a scar tissue problem that I had that made my smile uneven. I got the stitches literally out yesterday, so if it looks like my mouth is not functioning properly, it's because it's not. It's still healing and it still feels really weird and sore, so that is the reason. You guys, I officially closed escrow on my house, which makes me a homeowner. I'll make sure to make more detailed videos specifically on that whole process, but I just wanted to tell you guys that that was happening. I actually have two trips planned, which makes this whole moving process a little bit chaotic. So tomorrow morning, I am off to Belize. It's going to be a week-long media trip, but then when I get back, I have maybe four or five days to repack, get everything I need to get done before my mom and I are off to Europe for a little bit over a month. So we planned this trip way before I knew I was going to be buying a house. So it does make things a little bit more complicated, but we have been looking forward to this for a very long time. So that means I have to pack up most of my things now, especially everything that I don't need for these next few trips coming up so that I can make this whole process easier. So in this video, I'm just gonna take you along my very busy day where I will be packing and prepping for my Belize trip and then I'll start packing up all the things in my bedroom. Let's get started. So the first thing I need to do is figure out what clothing items I want to pack with me on my trip. So I recently ordered a few things from the brand Viore and if you guys have never heard of them, they're a coastal California inspired lifestyle brand that focuses on activewear, loungewear, and pieces that are perfect for traveling. I love to support brands that make an effort to be more sustainable throughout their whole process and they really made an effort to eliminate most of the plastic in their packaging. So yeah, I wanna show you guys a few of the looks that I got. This is the Elevation Bra and the Sunny Side Shorts in the color Burnt Clay. I'm absolutely obsessed with this color. It's kind of like a dusty rose mauve color. And then I also got the matching Sunny Side Sweater and this makes such a cute little cozy set. So for this next look, I wanted to try a little mix and matching because all of the colors in their collection work really well together. So I think that this combination would be so cute to wear on the plane. It's really cozy. And like I said earlier, these colors work really, really well together. This is the Sunnyside Half Zip in Azure and it just works really perfectly to complete this whole look. I also think that this color combination works really well. This is the Echo Insulated Bomber in Terracotta, I believe, layered on top of the Azure set. And this is also super cute for being on the plane, but it's also a great adventure look if I want to go hiking and maybe it's a little bit on the colder side, so I want an insulated jacket. This is definitely super cozy and great for adventures. So next up is the daily bra matched with the matching leggings in the color oregano. This is a really gorgeous dark green, almost gray color and these leggings are so soft. There's also a built-in zipper here in the back that's large enough to fit a credit card, some money, or keys, so all of your essentials that you might want to have on your person. So this sundown tee matches perfectly with literally any of the pieces that I got from Fiori. I love how versatile this look is. I could seriously wear it for so many different situations, and I also added this little tie in the front to give it a cropped look. So that is my little haul from Viore. I seriously love every single one of these pieces and I'll make sure to link them all in the description section in case you guys want to check it out. But now it is time to pack. So since I'm headed somewhere with really beautiful clear water, I'm definitely bringing my water housing and the dome port. It's really bulky and heavy, but I'm hoping it will be worth it. Next is my carry-on bag, which is basically all camera equipment all of my go-to's for creating content on the go. But since I'm carrying this on, I'm also gonna be packing my passport and a toiletries kit. Next up, my diving fins, snorkel, and mask for free diving while in Belize. And of course, I'm bringing a bag full of swimsuits, a couple of one pieces, and a few different bikini separate options. 
I'm trying to pack as light as possible for my clothing, so I'm keeping it really simple and practical with pieces that are great for various situations and can mix and match with each other. I'm also packing some beach accessories, sunscreen to stay protected, my toiletries, and all of this fits into my suitcase. So the flight is at 6 a.m. tomorrow, which means I will be leaving the house at 3.30 a.m. So to avoid having to use my brain tomorrow morning, I'm laying out my airport outfit from Fiori ahead of time so I can just change and go. And now I thought I'd do some work packing up my room. I think if I do a little bit each day, it won't be so overwhelming. As I go through my things, and especially through my closet, I'm packing things I know that I wear often and that I love, putting things I don't use to the side so I can donate them. Luckily, I don't get too attached to things, so this process isn't too difficult for me. It feels kind of strange to pack up where I've lived pretty much my entire life, but I am 25 years old now and I am so ready for this change. I guess I never really realized how much stuff that I own um, and I guess you never really know until you start putting things away in boxes so my biggest problem is that I have a lot of stuff I don't need anymore so I'm gonna take the time to purge and just take the things that I really want to carry with me to this new chapter of my life everything else will be donated because the amount of boxes that I've gone through already is ridiculous I think I'll be ending this vlog because I have a lot to get done today and it honestly slows me down a little bit when I'm vlogging and Honestly, it's kind of boring. It's just me sorting through my room, putting things in boxes, and just organizing, getting my life all together. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'm so excited for everything to come in the near future. So stay tuned, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!